Good morning. Oh, what an awesome, awesome night. That was probably the quietest night I've ever had. No wind at all, no rain, nothing. No coyotes even. I didn't hear a thing. It was it was pretty great. I woke up a couple times and just my ears were working and I didn't hear anything. <laughs> And I went back to sleep, it was great. No cell phone service out here either, so I wasn't playing on a phone or doing any of that stuff. It was awesome. I got a bunch of reading done, a bunch of editing done on the book that I am working on for my friend who's gonna publish another book soon. As far as temperature, oh, we're, we're at 18 degrees, so it didn't get too cold last night. I was pretty warm. My feet were, were in a little bit of a wet spot because when I threw my boots in the truck, I guess one of them made it all the way up to where my sleeping bag was and it melted down on the drive to where I was sleeping. So where my feet are, it's a little bit wet, but it wasn't too cold. Pretty excited for today. CJ is gonna be coming in pretty soon. It's about 5.50 in the morning right now. And we are gonna go explore a super remote pond for crappy. He's pretty sure there's crappy in there and we don't know about size or numbers. So we're looking for good numbers. Uh, more importantly, we're looking for good size. Like there's not a problem catching crappy at all in, in Maine and we're not really going for a feed right now. So yeah, so we're looking for something decent size. We don't know what's in there for size and we're gonna go in and chase them around with the, the live scope and have a great day. Bad day to be a crappy, buddy. <laughs> All right, CJ's here. We got a little buggy to ride in today, and we're pretty pumped up. But like you said, it's a bad day to be a crappy. into a big basin right here so it should be should be stellar nice oh, come on, 
Might be bait up there. Oh. oh yeah, the pole's not set up the right way. Oh, those look like crappy. Yeah, they don't look huge, but they're definitely crappy at 40. Yeah, it goes up to the basins. Yeah, those are, whoa, yeah, 100. Yeah, we want to head that way. Right? Yeah, so we, we want like a minimum of 100. Do you shut this one off every nope. time? Or? Nope, yep, just grab her and, and go. Right there. Yep. They're not showing up big, but that's all right. 70. We could weed through them. Got one right under me. Coming. Got him. That didn't take long. That didn't take long at all. Oh, yeah. Nice. Nice black. Choke that cast master. Look at that, buddy. We're on the board. Nice. Dark one. There's two or three on the bottom. He was way up to. Oh, I got a school here now. Got him. Nice. Scrappy. There he is. That feels all right. Went down to the micro tungsten. Whoa. First time with this rod, so I don't know if he's small or not. <laughs> nope, it's a good time. All right. Boy, he should have been That's old 14. Yeah, he's in that range. I, I switched down to a micro tungsten. Look at this. Look at this tungsten. How small this is. Yeah, that's what I use. From Castmaster. I use small than that. That's awesome. Isn't that great? You got a bump board? Uh, shoot. I don't know if I brought one. Put him down. It's 10 inches. The hole's 10 inches. So, oh, there he goes. There He's he probably is. 13. Yeah, because yeah, the hole's 10. Yeah. Yeah, he might have been 14. Not a bad start. They're definitely moving around pretty good. Little guy. Another decent. Not a bad one. I might have found some perch. Nope. Maybe. Feels like a crappie. Yep, little guy. Here we go. This ain't a crappy. Got him. You sure there's not browns in here, right? Oh, it was a pickerel, you were right. <laughs> what is he doing up in the water column like that? I couldn't resist him. We missed a few meals. Got him. Got him on a lift. Oh, 
All right, not a bad one there. That one ate that micro tungsten. Had a rough go of it with GoPros this trip, so right about now, after I lost that fish, I lost my volume from my GoPro. So the next couple fish catches, you're just going to have to go without the volume, or I could add it here. Got him! Nice little 10 to 12 inch crappie. Micro tungsten. Oh, there's another one. Got him. Another one on the micro tungsten. Nice little head shaker. 10 to 12 range. Probably good eater size. But I think I was letting those go. I'm going to hold the rod really weird here. And I am going to put my British T pinky out while I catch this little crappy. On a gold stubsy. Not sure what happened here, but I got a fish on. Oh, it's a pickerel. <laughs> that was a snake. They were like cruising the water column really high, and I couldn't resist it if I saw one swim through. Got another weird hold here. Got the rod tip pointed down. There he is. Got him. Pinky out. Three finger out. And we're looking at a little tiny crappie. So quantity is pretty good here. Quality size is not very good. These are eaters that we should probably cull some of these if, if uh, CJ is going to fish this pond a lot. There's another bite. Oh, another pickerel. Long and thin. They're like crazy racers and by far the highest I've ever seen pickerel in the water column. They're within the top five foot of the surface over 26 foot of water. Another bite. And another little tiny crappie. Feel like 12, 13s? That one's from 12. Now they're back to the cookie kind of side. The big ones were above the little ones. Yeah. I got a little one. Yep. Little guy. You still got them over there on you? No, they went to the rock. I guess we can keep a few of them to eat. We'll have surf and turf for dinner tonight. Beautiful. Got a good one? Yeah. Okay. Those look pretty good size. They're aggressive. Better. That looks decent. Well, you'll take it. Oh, there you go. I guess I'm getting them anyway. So. Yeah, get them out of That's not a bad size one, is it? No, feels decent. Oh, nice. That's not bad. Another in that either range. Yep. Well, Wonder Bread action. <laughs> That's crazy how well that works, isn't it? I love Wonder Bread. I can't figure out why, but it does work. Good eater. Decent one still down there. There he goes. Come on, buddy. Oh yeah. Come here. Here he comes. There he goes. Bit. Little bugger. Like tiny. 
Oh my god. <laughs> I would not have guessed that. Lake trout bait. Yeah, that'd be perfect. <laughs> if it was legal. We are doing a health check today on a bunch of small remote ponds in western Maine. And the health check is to see first if they have crappy in them or a nice yellow perch. And secondly, to find out how big they are. The first pond we're on today, we're just starting to get into some better size. I probably iced one this morning, over 13 inch. We're right in this range here. And CJ's got a pretty good stack of 12 to 13 started for dinner tonight. We've hit, geez, I bet you we've already hit 60, 70 fish. Yeah. Uh, a lot in that 10 to 12 range. So health-wise, quantity is way up. Quality is a little bit down as far as main standards go. And we're gonna we're gonna work on this a little bit more now that we're getting some bigger ones. And if they don't get bigger, we'll pick up and try another pond, do another health check somewhere else. Okay, guys, we put a pretty good pretty good effort on this pond. We worked the basin mostly, looking for the biggest crappie in the pond or the lake. And we worked the basin from about 20 foot deep was the shallowest down to like 26, 28 foot deep. So the deepest part of the pond, you get those big pods of bait like you were seeing on the screens. And we were made, we were able to pull out some decent crappy, but not the droids we're looking for. We're looking for big. So CJ said those magic words that I just love to hear. He said, let's go find something big. So we're packing up and we're going to, instead of hole hopping, we're pond hopping. We're just going to load up and jump in the ATV and take a little ride till we find something we like and go try another pond and check out some size. All right, guys, we are making the move. I'm on the hunt. I'm on the hunt, I like it. Find the icy trail. You say this house changed or no? No. Wow. It did pretty well. Yeah. <laughs> we almost made it. Don't don't forget how deep that is. You lost your auger Oh no. <laughs> uh oh. Huh. That's bubbling right up. A couple two inches. Why is that bubbling up so hard? That's weird. Probably because everything's dropping. Yeah. Oh, that's plenty. Yeah. Sweet. Look at the gusher you created. You must have hit a low spot or something. Still upright. Living on the edge, taking up too much room. Be a many esteemed hot dog sitting right there. Really? That's awesome. Did we just lose some ice or? Three inches. Uh oh. You got reverse. Two inches. Three and a half. Go 
question is, can we get out and move around? Yeah. Keep thinking it looks better as we get going. Though. Yeah. Pressure ridge? Gotta be. We could drill our way out. Yeah, it gets still about 40 feet, not a five for beer. Anything over over five foot's enough to create a problem. There's not much there, is there? I'll stay back. Two and a half, two? Two and a half, maybe. Yeah, it's probably not worth it once we get over our head. It kept looking better, but it's getting worse. If we were brook trout fishing or rainbow trout fishing, it'd be one thing. Yeah, it'd stay right here. Yeah. yeah. Then it doesn't matter if you fall through. Okay, no dice. We gave it a quick shot, but the ice wasn't safe. It wasn't quite safe enough for us. And once you get out over your head, who knows what the ice is. <laughs> <laughs> it wasn't going to be thicker, I know that. Too thin to me. Yeah, so we're going to try another spot. You know, I've been in situations like this before where it looks safe, but once you get out there and you start poking holes and jumping around, moving around, and getting set up, it's probably not safe. No, not worth it. So it's not worth it. So we're going to go try somewhere else, see if we can find some ice and then find some fish. <laughs> oh yeah, there's two, two bigs near me. Well, eight feet away. They're kind of hanging tight. I think they're crappy. Let's see if they want something bigger. Clean water, I wouldn't think. They like that bigger. Is come? One is. Oh. Got him. Doesn't feel big. Yeah. But I, this is the first time I ever used this rod. He came in a. Oh my god, right there. Uh -huh. Right there. Did you see him? No. One big head shake right there. But that bigger lure, man, he, he reacted. Get him. Decent. Ah, no, you had some biggers. He's in that 12 range. I went up to this size and they're they're jumping on it. That one was a tough bite. He bit like a yellow. All right, guys, we just got to our third body of water. We're finding some crappy. This is pretty deep body of water. This one's like 55, 60 foot deep. And we're over like 32, 33. And with the forward facing sonar, we found uh, some really tight, small wolf packs in that 20 to 25 range. So those are the ones we're after. I got a couple top side that were 13s and we saw a couple that looked even bigger on the live scope. So we're going to we're going to keep working and moving around. They're they're not like skittish, but they're they're on the move. They're on the prowl. So they're not like stopping. So it's really hard to get ahead of them 
you can kind of try to just get on them and get down to them real quick. And if they stay in that range, they're probably catchable. Good hooks it. Good one. Yeah, decent. Uh, you got four or five down there. Oh yeah, nice one. Nice slap. Fifteen. Yeah. You got probably five on the on that school. It's yeah. a nice thirteen incher. Yep. I'm gonna take the school with him. Nah, he shot side. You got three together, pretty tight. That's what we're looking at, guys. They haven't seen you yet. Oh, yeah, he yeah. saw you now. <laughs> it's about to go down. In five, four, three, two, one. <laughs> <laughs> that looks better. Yeah, that looks better. That one's falling drag. Yeah, that's a better fish. Be a hog, baby. Oh, really oh it's a hog. Nice. That's, a, that's what we're after. That's what we're looking for. <laughs> <laughs> nice. That's what we've been looking all day for. There's still two more there. Well, you get the skip. Yeah. Oh, I'll do the other. 14 and a quarter. Yeah. Good one. Yeah. Still three more there. Here. There you go. Mm. Another decent or? Yeah. Yeah, he's decent. That guy ate straight up on you. Ooh, pulling drag? Uh -huh. yeah, oh yeah, another slab. Another 14. Yep. Oh, still. You can take these all day long. That guy kind of slid in on you too. Yeah. These things are so fun to catch. I know. Mm -hmm. You really learn your, your jigging skills, yeah. hone them in. If you come out here and do that, then you go to Sebago, it's easy to catch some Lakers. Yeah. Because I think I had them at like 80, which isn't quite as far away as you're sitting. Yeah, see right there, 70, 78 feet away. Those are directly towards your seat. Okay. There's two or three at like 75 and 80. I'll drill that for you and then I'll okay. go to them 30. So like, yeah, go to, I guess, try to hit 80 the best you can. This is the direction right here, look. So pretty much right at you. Yeah. Maybe a 10-inch crappie. Fight now. Nope. Was it a 10-inch crappie? 10 they like that bait. Oh, they're chomping it, dude. They're, they're like coming from far to get it. Yeah, I think you would get some this one that better than that one. It's uh it's Wonder Bread too. Yeah, I love Wonder Bread. Isn't that the dumbest thing ever? I my dodgers and stuff. I kill them on Wonder Bread. This one feels not bad. Big head shakes. Oh my god, dude, you have that one. <laughs> That's a pie plate. <laughs> there you go, buddy. <laughs> Look at that one. Hold that baby up for the camera. You hold that one. <laughs> That's your fish. That's a good one. That's a nice one. Man, are they eating that bait good or what? Look at that one, guys. That one's thick. That's a, uh, I'd call that a hog right there. 
they've uh, I switched over to the stubs from Acme, the Stub Z, and they are just chomping that thing. But that's a good one. He's in the 15 range. Nice fish there. Oh yeah, he's 15. Oh yeah, he's 15 plus, ain't he? Yeah. 15 and a quarter. 15 and a quarter, we'll take him. All right, got a nice little 15 incher there, 15 and a quarter. Got him on that Acme Stub Z. I switched over to that bigger profile, bigger bay, and they're just chomping it. But, right. Take a breath first. There you go. That's the old drop trick. The old drop kick, drop to trick. CJ taught me that last year. There's still fish there. Here, try this bait. I want to see you get one now. I'm going to have to buy one. Oh, there's a pig on the left, too. Yeah, I mean, that. I dropped that thing down. They react a lot different than they have been to the yeah. small stuff. They always say bigger fish, big baits. But that one pushes a lot of water. It gives you attention from afar. Wicked, doesn't it? Oh, I might have to actually go get these fish. Another guy wants to go on 1723. I gotta go get these fish. They're just, they're just too far away, you know? All right, 20, 30, two feet that way. Yeah, you definitely gotta move on. I figured that out. 32 that way. Can you poke me one? I don't know if those were the droids I was looking at, but there's it's 32 that way. Yep. Huh. I don't know where those... Yeah. Yep, that's the angle. But while you're here, I'll go ahead. I got, I found these big ones. 20. You can drill that one though, because that's... Like 21, that way, are those giants. Uh, 18, call it. And let me give you the line. Yep, to your right, one step to your right. I get a big fish. Every time, CJ. Every every time that thing that thing goes off. Another decent? No. Oh, nice one. Thirteen probably? Thirteen change? Oh, no, he's Is he? Yeah. <laughs> I'm so bad at judging. I always judge smaller. All right, there were two there. Get him back. Oh yeah, nice. I'm gonna drop down. This lure's heavy enough, I can get down to that other one before, before I release this fish. I got another nice one down there. I'm gonna try to get down before I release this so he doesn't spook him too bad. He chomped it. The rattle bait? Yeah. They're hitting this rattle bait. It's called a stub Z. Or a stubs Z. 14. 14er? Yeah. So he's bigger than I thought. Mm. 13 three quarter. Okay. Still a smasher. Oh, I missed him. All right, guys. 13 and three quarters. Not bad. Let's get him back. Yeah, he's still there. He's, he's sticking around. I'm going to switch over to that smaller bait. Yeah. 
Tell you in a second. Oh no, she spun backwards. Oh, these reels. I hate those inline reels. I am now. Decent. Yep. Yeah. Heavy one. I mean, he's over 13 probably. Got him on the Castmaster Micro Tungsten. Yeah, I mean, he's 13 and a half, 14 probably. Good one there. Cool. That one's beautiful. Purple and gold. That's a, that's a pretty good slab, actually. Yeah. I don't know why I was just like, that's decent. I think he's, um, I think he's 14. Anyway. Yeah. Yeah, he probably is. Oh Jesus, 14. Yeah. Pretty easy, 14. <laughs> Alright guys, 14 entry going back. I mean this this to me is like more fun than anything. Yeah. But you're catching 14s. But the next one could be 18. He's here. Yep. 17. That's your day. You have to do it. Yeah, this uh, it's kind of like hole hopping, but we were lake hopping. Yeah, we found the right one for us. Yeah. Put a little smash vest on them. We'll, uh, hit them hard tomorrow. Yeah, we added up some inches there in a hurry with a yeah. one one over 15 with a bunch in the 13, 14 range. Now we got the numbers in. Yeah, yep. So that was a great that was a great move for us. We that was the third body of water we hit, and geez. I don't know how many we just caught, but we probably caught less here, but the quality went through the roof. You know, nothing under 12 inches and over 15 inches and fun to catch that deep water where they're roaming around. Normally this is the part of the video where I say, well, that's going to do it for today, guys, blah, blah, blah. But that's not going to do it for today, guys, because we got a little special for you. We got a little catch and cook going on. We did a little selective harvest on some 12 to 13 inch crappie earlier. And we're gonna show you how to cook them up. We're gonna eat them tonight. We're, we're in luck, cause what's Anna cooking tonight? Uh, steak and cheese egg rolls. Steak and cheese egg rolls and then- Venison steak and cheese. Nice. And then what are we doing with these crappie? Ah, uh, we're gonna uh, make fish tacos. Fish tacos. So stay tuned guys. Maybe you'll get a chance to see that. And we'll do a little, we'll do a little chat with CJ too later in the, in the show. Stay tuned. Thank you guys so much for, for having me for dinner and this incredible meal. Oh, my pleasure.